Hey guys, Donald Tillow Taylor here. Today we are going to um, look at um, how to um, reduce the shoulder pads on a jacket. So you'll need um, a pair of clippers and a razor blade. So this is the first step. This is the inner armhole sleeve lining attached to um, the jacket um, shoulder and um, and the sleeve. So you need to carefully undo the top bit of the sleeve, which is in most cases it is attached to them, the body and the shoulder pad. So um, to start with, you gotta use the clippers just carefully. cut one of the stitches without cutting the fabric <coughs> so you can just pull it a little bit to find the fab um, the thread very carefully you cut that and there's a couple more you need to cut. There we go. Now, this sleeve is we call the hand stitch, or there's a certain machine that do this stitch now. But uh, if this is the kind of stitch you got um, on your um, jacket, it comes off easily like that. So you just carefully pull it. Not too much force, but very gently. And it. So. There you go. If it's stuck at one point, trim the thread. There you go. Opens up. Now, <clears throat> this is what you see in a suit jacket. This we call the roulette. It's on the sleeve head just to give the, the shape of the sleeve. See that? Yeah, that's how you maintain the shape of the sleeve. So <clears throat> now you can see here the body lining is attached to the shoulder pad as well. For us to undo the shoulder pad, carefully remove that stitch. Here we go. That is the shoulder pad. Now the reason we are doing this today, the shoulder pad is too thick. So we want to reduce the shoulder pad. So what we do is open this up. See now it's attached to the, the sleeve head. So what we do is Carefully cut the stitch of the shoulder pad here, like that, and then here you go. Now the shoulder pad comes undone. There's many ways you can reduce the shoulder pad. In this one, we're going to um, use the existing shoulder pad, but reduce the size of it. This is all done carefully. Right. So now as you can see, this part has to be attached to the body, otherwise it becomes loose and it's not gonna work. When it goes to dry clean cleaning, it's gonna fold and, and it's not gonna work right. So must make sure this is attached to the other side. This is close to the neck point of the jacket. So this bit is attached and <clears throat> what we're trying to do here is reduce the, um, the workload and minimize the ex extra work so that way we keep the shoulder pad there and access what's inside and see so many layers here. Mm. 
actually going to take that off. There we go. <coughs> Slowly trim all the threads that is attaching both together. So that this is all coming and done. There you go, see the extra pad, and this is a very thin shoulder pad, that's just fine. Now the, the current um, suit jackets, we don't have a thick shoulder pad, it's just we call the natural shoulder. So this is all you need to keep the shape. So simply it's in the original position, but less pad, padding inside. So we got rid of the extra padding. Now what you got to do is put it back the same way attach it exactly where it was before and uh, close it up and then this is already attached here so we don't need to oh no, see when you unstitch the shoulder it came undone so make sure that you attach this to the shoulder and then insert your lining in there this is the body lining before you do that <coughs> attach the shoulder shoulder pad to the sleeve head and then <clears throat> then you attach the lining here and then you just uh, we only un undid half of the sleeve so you can start from where you left off and keep stitching the back and then you need to give it a good press but you, as you can see now the shoulder pad is very soft and see and finish is good thanks for watching keep tuning for more videos from donatello taylor